Yeah. 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 Be watching watching me, I wake up long to click. Go <laughs> yeah. back out to sleep. Uh, 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 well, all right, <coughs> Father, we want to say thank you that you are God and you change us not. And Lord God, we thank you for the unity and strength of your power, of your might. And Father, as we begin to go into your word today, we ask you, Lord God, to open our understanding that we can behold the wonders of your law. Because you are the law giver and we thank you for knowing that. So Father, we thank you for the instruction that you have through the word. And God, we're going to be careful to give you the praise and the glory in Jesus' name. Amen, 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 amen. And tonight we're going to go to Proverbs, the third chapter. Third chapter, and we're going to go to one through five. Amen. Tonight we're going to talk about how we lean down. Proverbs, what? Proverbs, the third chapter. One through five. We're going to talk about leaning not. We're talking about our own understanding. We're going to be leaning now. We lean to everything except toward God. Mm -hmm. We lean, we lean. He said, lean not to your own understanding. And sometimes people understand is so confused and mixed up. Amen. And and tonight we're gonna to try today we're gonna to talk about how what we lean towards and and sometimes we lean toward things and you know you're wrong with you thinking, but you're gonna stick to it anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we that's that's you know, that's I've done that. I have really done that. And then when you really get the true understanding, then you feel embarrassed. You won't even admit you got you mm -hmm. know, Maybe you was wrong, mm -hmm. you know, of the understanding that you had. <laughs> Amen. All right, we're gonna start at first verse one. I still ain't got it, but go ahead. I'm gonna okay, go ahead. Go ahead. I, mm -hmm. You got it, proper third oh, chapter. Seven. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Okay, wait. You seven, wait on 40, seven, 49. Okay. I'm not finding this right here. Okay. Proper right behind now. So one to five. Okay. Oh. So Proverbs, the third chapter. Go at verse 1 through 5. Listen. My son, forget not my law. He tells, don't forget his law, which is his word. But let thine heart keep my commandments. See, it got to get in your heart. heart. That's the only way you can keep it. It's in your heart. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. He said, uh, my son, forget not my law, but let thy heart keep. He said, let thy heart keep my commandment. So it got to go in the heart. Amen. Amen. <laughs> All right. For length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee. So if I allow it to go into my heart, I have length of days, that means long life. Yeah. <laughs> I have lent the law. It said days. That means the end. So my days ain't short. Yeah. Amen. And a long life. No matter what condition I, I think I am. But if I obey the word of God, I'm going to live a long life. And peace is going to give me peace. Where I'm disturbed and upset all the time. He said he'll give me peace. Right here. And, oh, and share they add. It's going to add to me. Yeah. Ain't, and they ain't subtracting. Just it's adding. Add, right? Ooh, I like that. It's add to you. The word of God add. It don't subtract. It add. Amen. Amen. <laughs> okay. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Don't let it for what? Forsake, forsake you. Me. Don't let the word of God forsake you. Many people are letting the word of God what? Forsake, forsake them. Me. And that's why a lot of things that we go through because we don't we ain't tainted to what? The word of God. And so it forsaken us because we forsake it. Mm -hmm. He said, I never leave you nor forsake you. But if you don't take on the word, so it, it forsake you because it, it don't it can't do nothing for you because you ain't taking it off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Find them about thy neck. Write them upon the table of thine heart. So he means to attain it. Just like you got that container there. And when you put your food in it, 
and you put it in the freezer, that's attaining that meat, right. keeping right. it fresh, whatever you got. And that's what the word of God is in your heart. The heart, the, your heart is attaining the word of God. So it bring it peace, it bring it long life, it bring it uh, long days in your life. It, it keep you formed in the tap. You ain't need to be disturbed all out of place, all out of order. Amen. <laughs> Thank God for that. So shall thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Now look what faith, look what word do faith. So shall thou find favor. The word will get you favor. Yeah. And good understanding. The word will give you good understanding in the sight of God and man. He give you both of them. God give you favor with man when they say, just like somebody said, I got my credit ain't up to par. Mm -hmm. Okay? You talk to God. You please God. Okay? Then you say, well, I'm going to go on up there and check anyway, seeking like I know what my credit is about. Yeah. You go on up there. But you got such favor with God. God will turn that favor and touch that man. And that man will know, okay, I, I, I give you credit on it. I give you because God did turn around and give you favor. Right. He'll give you favor and man had to give it to you. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Thank God. For God and, and man. Amen. Okay. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. Now this is the part where I really want to get. He said trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Right there we don't do that. We don't trust him. We don't trust God with our whole heart. We trust him we trust him in words. A lot of people talk words. Yes. But we don't trust him in, heart. in our heart. We'll give our heart quicker to a man, mankind, than we will him. Sure. That's why he said, trust in the Lord with all thy heart. And then he turned around and said, and, and lean not unto their own understanding. Mm -hmm. So if I give God my all my heart, I'm not going to lean to my own understanding. I mean, I'm not going to be myself. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people is in what? Self. self. <laughs> <laughs> in self. And when you in self, you don't have no understanding. You mm -hmm. do some weird, crazy stuff. And you think it's of God. Mm -hmm. That's why he said, trust in the Lord with all that heart. With all that heart. And now, you know, I think about, he the creator of our soul. And he created us. He formed us. And we don't, we have, I, I give my heart to somebody yeah. do more for them, um, more than, for do them than, than, than I do for, for them. For Jesus. Right. For Jesus. And he he more trustworthy yes. than <laughs> man. mankind is. Right, you know? Right. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you think about it, you know, not when you don't truly come to an understanding, but you know, you look back how foolish thing I said myself, you know. I did foolish, you know, and I thought Within myself, you know, God, if I give all this over here to this, yes, right, and then and then and I think and that's where a lot of women and men do foolish things because they gave their heart to an out of right. thing, out right. of person, right. and it, it doesn't have any fruit, and that's mm -hmm. what tells you mm -hmm. that was the wrong thing to do. Mm -hmm. There's no life in man, a man. Tears the heart, bring pain in the heart. God bring life to the heart. Joy. And joy, peace. All these things come to the heart. But we so what I say, I I wanna say I wanna use the word addicted. We so used, yeah, well, yeah we so used, used 
to pain of yeah. the world and what we call love is yeah. not love. Yeah. When we give our heart to something, it's not it's not really love. Right. Some people get their heart sold to their jaw. Mm -hmm. And then when the jaw run out, mm -hmm. you know, it's just so many things we give our oh ourselves God, our to and, and to our children and don't realize they growing up. Mm -hmm. And then when they grow up and get at the age, mm -hmm. then they go to buy nature. Uh -huh. uh -huh, they gone, you know. So we, we and this, we should like it said, trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not to thy own understanding. So our understanding needs to be what? In light. And this is what God trying to do. In line your understanding towards me. So when you get understanding of me, I direct your paths in areas that you never thought you could be directed in. And not to the bleed. The more we allow God to give us an understanding more by him, Less pain we go through. I feel a whole lot better. A lot of stuff that I used to let affect me, it don't affect me like it used to because I I, I let him give me the understanding of it. And when you discuss it with him, he'll give you the understanding. That's why he said don't lean to your own understanding. We, we do so many things without checking with him first. Get into relationships, take a job, and then it failed. Yeah. All we had to do was ask. Ask. That's it. Oh, well. And then we blame him. Mm -hmm. Like he did it. Uh -huh. right. We did it ourselves. We did ourselves. We didn't ask for no what? Understanding. We didn't trust him. We make bad decisions. We do things. Uh, instead of discussing with God about something, get an understanding, we go and just, just do it. Just do it anyway. Uh -huh. And then it fall in your lap, and then you're mad. And, you find yourself doing something that you imprison yourself for lack of understanding. Just think about how many people imprison themselves with lack of understanding. A lot of people do. A lot of people do. I mean, I can even say that for myself. Mm -hmm. Not understanding, the, my best example to me is going to court. Understanding, you know, their laws mm -hmm. and even the words that mm -hmm. they, I'm like, okay. I need a dictionary with me, you know, <laughs> yeah, really, yeah. because they use words I have yeah. no clue about. Right, so, right. And that's, that's true. That's, and that's why I tell, uh, tell uh, was telling I never get too old to learn nothing. Mm -hmm. And yeah. that's what a lot, you know, a lot of people don't want to admit that I don't, I don't understand this. I will, I so I, 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 ain't, I ain't afraid to say, I don't understand, I don't understand it. it. Come on, give me some explain it to me. me. You know, or if Make it plain to me that I can I understand. Don't, it, say it to me to where I will understand. Uh -huh. Right. Yeah, but a lot right. of times that's why he said don't lean to your own understanding. A lot of people think just because you understand something don't mean you ignorant. You no, just don't you understand. Don't, you just don't know. You don't know. You don't you understand. Don't know. It. I mean, you know, you don't. Right. So if you, you don't, don't give me understanding of I don't know. You know. So that's why he said. That's why he tell you don't lean to your own understanding. My God, I don't want to lean to my God. Like lean. I said I don't. You know, I mean. And those are things that you do experience those. Right? right? I experience when you know better what you do. You, you do better. You do better. So he's telling us we should trust uh, his laws, which is his word. And anything you need to know is right here. Yeah. Tell you, you can't say the word of God give you something. I don't understand the Bible, but you keep reading it. Your understanding starts enlightening, opening up. Amen. All right, let's get Psalm 37, 3 through 5. Psalm 37. Let's turn over to Psalm 37. Psalm 37. Uh-huh. 3 through 5. The way it is. So I know what I got to do to get this understanding. Trust in the Lord. First, I got to trust it. <laughs> and a lot of people do not trust something that they can't see. They, long as they see it, they trust. But if they don't see it, 
they don't trust. You see what I'm saying? First thing he said, trust in the Lord. And then he coming out and next day I got to do what? And do good. And do good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do good to those despising you. That's what the Bible said. We got to do good. good. All right. So shall thou dwell in the land. So shall I what? Well. I'm going to dwell in the land. So if I'm going to dwell in the land, that means if I trust him, he's going to provide for me in my dwelling. Mm -hmm. That's why he says, Psalm 91, he that dwells in the secret place shall abide right. under the shadow of the Almighty. So he, he's with me at all times because he, he dwelling with me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. And verily thou shalt be fed. So I'm going to be what? Fed. I'm going to be fed. Amen. I ain't going to be no like about me. Not, not that is so true. I'm telling you true. God just showed me so me. I was sitting and I was sitting myself when I was studying it. And I got to really look at it and I got to say, Lord, thank you. Lord, I just not really know you more now than I ever know you. Because of the the uh, way of life, he's carrying me now to see him in who he really he is a provider. You yes. know, I mean he I mean everything you need, he's providing. I mean it ain't nothing under the sun if you delight in him and obey him. And ain't like it will be no three years or four years. He whether you need is there. You know, he really showed me more. Nah, and so ain't nobody, especially when he did that by that truck and them, all that stuff. Nobody can tell me that's why he said, Bring these things back and remember. Yeah, that's the remember yeah. that you know he is who he is, what you done experience in life. You look back at God, yes, you is who you say you is yeah, for right. me, right? You know, and people easy to forget. Mm -hmm. And that's a law, I sure appreciate you. I just said, Lord, thank you. I look like I boy I said Lord thing I ain't I'm just going down more and more a little bit just just melting you know I really realize he is really who he say he is okay delight thyself also in the Lord and he shall give thee the desires now, of thy Lord. heart so I need to put myself yeah. in the Lord see what he said delight thyself also in the Lord so what we doing we delight ourselves in the in Lord. Lord more you delight in him the more he's pleased the more he's pleased with you the more he gonna show himself mighty in you mm -hmm. my God like we went to Walmart to pick up that uh, coffee and stuff and me and Les and and Bobby just walking and stuff, and first they come and bless. You, you just come from church, you know. All I said, I said, we just go here and get some milk. <laughs> but I'm just saying, they could tell that we we been with Jesus. You see what I'm saying? You ain't got to tell nobody you a Christian. Y'all just, yeah. just, just come from church. We just come from church. Yeah, the wall was that grinning, just stopping and talking to us. We just, we, I'm here trying to get some milk and cookies and let's get out of here. And people just coming up, wasn't they, y'all? Just coming up. We didn't have to, we didn't make no conversation. They were making conversation with us. Oh, my goodness. See? Have a, have a blessed day. Have a blessed day. Just speaking, you know. And we just go in the store, get our little stuff, and come on out. But that's what I'm saying. When you dwell with him and delight yourself in, you ain't got to tell nobody who he is. Right. It's, it's you all on you anyway. It's just it's somebody that look, you know, and that, that spirit uh, that you have on you, the glory. And it just make people pay attention to you. Mm -hmm. You ain't trying to be, oh, you run outside stuff. You go to the store. <laughs> you try to hurry up, get in there, get yourself, get out of here. Yeah. Hey, sir, honey, how you been there? You say, wait a minute, I just come in for all of this. And you end up staying there hour talking to somebody yeah. because that noise and they start. And then I tell you nothing when you delight yourself so in the Lord. And you don't have to have nobody they promise. They just come up start so telling you about they about promise. Mm -hmm. Because your the anointing on you draws it out of them. Oh, they, you true. know, that's when you delight yourself. Also in the law, and he shall give you. I'm just saying, in the part of that part, he said, I and he shall give thee the desires of thy heart. So
so God will give you your desires of the, your heart. Sometimes he gives you stuff that you ain't even looking for. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. I, I, I just delight myself in my talk. I get, I be here. I'm still eating no barbecue. I'm still, I, 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 I cook when I want to cook. Yeah. So I'm always, he always bringing something to me. You see what I'm saying? And people don't really realize that you don't have to go out and make something happen. It'll happen. I'm telling you. Oh, I. I, I get sometimes I can grab folks and say, come on. Don't you, you, you hear me when I'm trying to tell you? If you do it this, you get on the desk, girl, and hold that. Girl, you ain't got to go through all of that. That's sound like how we do with our children. Uh -huh. Oh, goodness. Come here, let me just shake you. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then what you would <laughs> say, you do this and yeah. you delight yourself. Girl, delight yourself. Also in the Lord, and He, He, not man, He, He shall give the the, the desires of your heart. He, oh my God, that's something not to think about. Man can say one thing, but He, He says another. Mm -hmm. That's something to think about. He said, you. I didn't say that. <laughs> this is what he said. I ain't said that if you did like myself, I'm gonna change this. I'm gonna give you the desires of your heart. What, what you said? They said you couldn't have that. Do you desire that? Yeah. Do you want that? Yeah. Just give me three more days. I work on that, babe. I'm gonna turn them papers around. I'm gonna give you the desires. <laughs> Because <laughs> I think about you talking about your car. Ooh, don't talk about it. Don't talk about it. Don't talk about it. Wait a minute. I haven't got a jump. Uh-huh. Put that car, ooh, wee. Like I say, ooh, wee. Yeah. And see, uh, you know, and I think I'm saying that because of you begin to turn your heart and your mind so toward him is yo you ain't yet how can say God wants you to have something that you don't have to be always concerned about. Right. So right. when you right. you right. show no get ready to desire another car, I truly believe God got you another car. Yeah. Somebody you. Now, I mean just give it to you. I don't know. The way I be feeling, I probably wouldn't take it. <laughs> and see, but no, but yeah, I, mean, I, I know, know I know. I know, I know. Saying, but see, I this and that is and not so much. It's to show you how much he really loves right. you. Right. And sometimes, you know, I think sometimes I I know I did me. You know, I taught God, and I and remember I just taught God, and I I believe what somebody else said, but but within. Sometimes you don't think God really loves you. Mm -hmm. I then that first he started really Man more that. manifesting himself to me more. And I think a lot of people uh, think within themselves that he don't really love you like people be saying, mm -hmm. you know, about him, you know, because you don't feel that close and emotion. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. Like, uh, Come on. when I was at church, uh, it's been a while back, but one of the members, like how she would, uh, you know, like give her testimonies mm -hmm. and different things, like about she didn't have gas, she didn't know how she was going to get the money mm -hmm. to, you know, get back and mm -hmm. forth to work. And like you say, just prayer, and when you do believe, right. how things, you know, and she would tell how they just fell in the place mm -hmm. for and stuff. And like I said, if, if you really, if you don't believe, you know, and then, you know, like I say, they yeah. real, you know, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, prayer, they, uh, they, they really pray. They, yeah. you know, I mean, just they family kids, they have yeah. prayer warriors. Yeah, mm -hmm. prayer. And, and she, uh, she, you know, would explain and did explain mm -hmm. how, you know, how things happen and how she was feeling right. and things like you said, but yeah. A lot of people have some experience with God, but when you constantly have an experience with Him, you get more closer. That's just like, like us. Since 
I gotten to know you, I'm getting closer to you. You see what I'm saying? So I begin to get a relationship with you. And see, that's where people is, they talk by God, but they ain't getting a relationship. So that when you get a relationship, you really know that he, if you, he, that's why he said, delight thyself. See, I'm delight myself, so when I delight myself, I'm getting a relationship. I'm knowing, because he said, you know I'm more a servant. You my friend. Mm -hmm. So you become a friend to God. And I thank God for this. And he and truly, he has given me the desires of my heart. Mm -hmm. My heart, me, all my needs. Mm -hmm. Everything he said, he's doing it. Yeah. He ain't, he ain't bagging off nothing. As long as I keep doing what I'm supposed to do, yes. he ain't going to back off me. 